What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. It's day two. We got a game plan. Both groups were, well Moose's group was in the money. We were pushing on it. Just that fog and it tankered. But we got a good game plan today. Both parties. It's going to be a good day, so stay tuned. There we go. You're good. Hi. Well, good morning, guys. Like Jake said, it's day two. Uh, Moose is back at Dodgers County where they had some success yesterday, we can call it. We're back in Harrison County, but just in a different area, about, about another 10 miles down the road from where we started yesterday. I was in here three days ago. Had birds underneath of us, had birds come in to 60 yards and just hung up. So hopefully today one will come in and make the mistake. And even if we have to push that 50 yard shot, unfortunately, we will. Oh, but, I bet you. Like I said, hopefully uh, this morning is a great morning. There's no fog. Weather looks great. So we'll just get after them. Hopefully we'll have a video for you guys of a nice old long beard on the ground. Yes. But it hawks up the bat. He gets first, uh, first go using a uh, hand-loaded TSS that was just made up this morning. <laughs> Literally as fresh as it gets. Fresh <laughs> as it gets. Um, shooting it out of uh, my TriStar uh, Viper G2 because his gun is definitely not sighted in for it, which is understandable. But anyways, we'll, uh, we're going to get to the hunting, so watch us later. We'll catch you when they wake up. I felt that.
my cool. All right, so uh, we got on this point. He told us we're in for one, and God, <laughs> I mean, we, first thing, they were hammering. We were trying to get down in there, but we couldn't get closer as a hen roosted. Well, the, the first bird that was gobbling kind of kept all them toms off. And as soon as as soon as that bird worked off with a hen, well, you saw it, Hawk caught, caught eye of that strutter. I got the camera on him. He come up booking. He was coming. And as soon as that other bird opened up, started hammering behind us, it froze him. His head went pure red. He started getting submissive, rolled over. A Jake followed with him. And it just got crazy after that. So we had, after that, another time, come up the backside. And it just, then there was a bearded hen. I mean, golly, we were in them. And it was, it's only 7.30 right now. And the morning's young, and that is one hell of a morning, guys. I mean, that joker coming right up here, that was a big old bird. And to see him just, as soon as that bird behind us gobbled, it, it shot him right down. He, he bowed down, went with his little Jake, and went offward. But <laughs> all this before 7.30, I mean, what can you ask for here? That, that, what a start to the morning. We still have tons of time. Birds are hammering. Hawk wants that bird bad, I know it. But what a start to the morning, I can't. I mean, he, he ended up, I don't know if I got it on camera, but he ended up right down on this flat. And that's a that's a poke right there, so couldn't couldn't let it happen. But but then we had another time where Hawk's standing on the back side. He gobbled out in this bowl. He come up, popped up, and I could never see him. Man, what a hunt! But it ain't over. It's just getting started. But it already was amazing. So we'll see what we'll, we'll see what we can get into. Hopefully, moose and them are in them. I tell you what, this is why you turkey hunt. Unreal, but time to time to game plan figure out what we're gonna do and get on more All right guys, so that was one insane hunt uh, The action died down for the most part after I mean we found another time that come up quiet We've seen some hens. We tried to spark something up elsewhere, but man All that we seen and filmed was before 730 this morning. It was absolutely lights out uh, Moose's group they heard him on the roost they heard them away, well, in an area that they couldn't make a move on them without getting busted. So they they did leave, though, didn't they? They moved, made a couple moves. They did. They tried to move in uh, a couple different spots, see if they couldn't get something going. But from all we, we haven't seen them yet, so all we got is text messages. But it sounds like they had a day like we had yesterday where we were struggling to get birds, and uh, they were in them. And today, we were in them. Hawk. And I, I thought we were punching that ticket for sure. And that bird, as soon as that other bird gobbled, he just he just froze up. You, you can tell he was a submissive Tom. But we're going to make a move. We've got a plan for the morning already. We're, we're going to get down in where they're all roosted. we got a good spot. We cleaned it up already so we can make our way in early, be dead quiet, get set up, and be ready. And it should be an awesome, awesome day three. I mean, today it's going to be hard to beat. Yeah, we didn't punch a tag, but man, having that many times just absolutely ripping all the way around us. We had a bearded hen going. We we seen it all today. It was just insane. So, but that's going to be a wrap for day two. I mean, the content we're getting from these hunts has been absolutely lights out. We've been in the ball game. We've been playing. Just haven't quite sealed the deal yet. I mean, the way I see it, both groups, we're due tomorrow. It's it's coming together. I can feel it. I mean, it, it's oh, I thought we had it today. <laughs> I really did. But guys, as always, smash the thumbs up button for your boys. We're grinding. We're out here. We got a couple other videos we're gonna be filming today, so we got a lot to get done. We're gonna go home and shower because it's a hot one here in West Virginia. So as always, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. We'll catch you when they're gobbling in the morning. Take her easy.